The clock is ticking. Ohio lawmakers have until the end of the day, which it's six o'clock, folks. And it's a Friday. And a Friday to intervene and push the primary back in Ohio. That has not happened yet nope. in the six o'clock hour, which means a split primary is likely. That's right. Reporter Marielle Carbone is following this for us tonight. Marielle, a second election, that's not going to be cheap. No, Tanya, we're hearing estimates uh, around $20 million for a second primary, uh, but that's the path we're on right now as local board of elections prepare for early voting to start on Tuesday. Inside Hamilton County's Early Vote Center. We are conducting this afternoon a mock election. We do this before all of our countywide elections. What they don't normally do, rush to prepare. A lot of hurry up and wait. We really uh, had to condense the timeline in which we normally conduct these processes. That's because of the uncertainty of what would be on the May ballot and if the election would happen at all. We now know it will, but at this point in time, the elections for the General Assembly districts will not appear on the May 3rd election ballots. And it'll stay that way. In a letter sent to state leaders Thursday, Secretary of State Frank LaRose said without intervention by lawmakers today, he would have to direct counties to begin mailing out military ballots as soon as Saturday. He wrote, when I issued this directive, the May 3rd primary election is officially underway. Any changes after that point would lead to chaos and confusion. That means a second primary will be required for state district races, likely August 2nd. It's been pretty difficult to get this election ready. And despite that, Eric Corbin, deputy you know director for the do. Butler County Board of uh, Elections office, be. says his office is prepared to run it and staff are ready to respond to any confused voters. And they're going to say, hey, where, where's this candidate that I'm looking for? The one who came and knocked on my door. Um, and we're going to have to explain to them why that candidate's not on the ballot and, and what that situation is. Now, another challenge caused by all this election confusion is a shortage of poll workers. Hamilton County needs 2,200 for the May primary. Right now, it's 500 short, and that does not include workers needed for whenever that second primary is. In the control room, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.